Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. Just go and double check, yeah, see it's staying at 600. It, and I don't think that changes at all, I, I, I think you can put as much as you like in there. We, rather than following the road, let's just go straight down here. Uh, we'll probably end up jackknifing it if we're not careful, but it's worth it for a little bit of speed. We've got no hope of getting to the clamp, unloading and getting back again before the forager has um, filled up its 60,000 litre on board tank. But we don't mind that. That's something that we can live with. So we can run round this way. Um... I'll also make sure that I get the combines because I did say that we would do a harvest on the big field over there before we left this map. And I, um, so I'll probably get the Stevie mods going for that. We get a couple of combines working on that and doing it rather than trying to just do it on its own. Um, like just do it normally because it, it'll, it'll speed things up. Helper G is a nearly full grain tank because of the huge long runs he's doing. Is already at 60,000, uh, well, I think that was just a, you know, that little bit of glitch we just had there? I think that was probably him reaching a full tank. That was it. We've we've now reached maximum capacity. Now, if I switch that one over and I unload that one, can I get through this side in here? I can get through this side. I'm going to be able to do this once. So I may as well just dump a load of silage down here. And then we will try and creep up the side up here. Let's keep that moving a little bit. There we go. Now I can slow down again. I need to because I've still got 20,000 litres of chaff on board. And if I do that, we've got seven... It's 92% compact. We've got 730,000 litres of chaff in there already so we are fast approaching a million liters of chaff and we've barely like we've literally barely covered uh, done a layer across the floor of this clamp these, these clamps are huge i mean keep in mind it did cost us a good half a million to buy this joint in the first place so it's, it's not really all that surprising the amount of money that it's costing us to, to be able to do anything in here just go up through there and I can get that trailer there. I'm hoping I can get one more load tipped out in here. So let's just do that again. It's staying completely compacted. It's now 99% compact because I'm driving through here constantly with the road train. It's keeping the whole thing compacted. It's not actually uncompacting um, whenever I put something in here. And... I'm, I'm starting to think that's, that is one aspect of it that I don't particularly like. I want that big bud to actually have some work to do. But we, like the, the, the number of wheels and that that we've got with these trailers, it just seems to be doing all the compaction for us. We don't have to worry about it. So that big bud is just going to be sat there all lonely with nothing to do, which is a bit of a shame. Um, uh, the general idea that I got from people for the next series is that we take the money that we earn from this one and we we go into quite a big game. When, when we move into the next map... Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> oh! I, as soon as I seen those lights come on, I was like, no, this, this is going to be bad. But that was actually surprisingly tame. I genuinely thought we would have been catapulted off the across the map. Being wrapped around the, the poles like that, I, I genuinely thought we were about to be catapulted off across the map. Uh, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at that. I really am. I, I really, really did think that was going to come off a lot worse. <laughs> So yeah, the general idea that I've been getting from people is that for the next series, you would like me to play... Oh, you're going to do that again. I got, I got to empty you out. Uh, you'd like me to not do what I did on this. This one we started from scratch, didn't we? And we built our way up. 
So what you'd like me to do in the next series is not build my way up. You'd like me to pretty much carry on from where I am here with the level of the machinery. Because otherwise, what we end up doing, and this is something that people have pointed out before, is that you end up just having a series you, you you're just repeating the same series over and over and over you 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 have a series where you build up from scratch and then you get to some reasonable machinery and then you leave the map because you've all gotten bored with it and you move on and then you go and do exactly the same thing on the next map and i got the distinct impression that none of you want me to do that so what we will do is we will at the end of this series we will probably sell a few things i a lot of people have been asking for the save game off this map, so I will see about getting the save game to you as well. Um, Stevie, not Stevie, uh, Mod Hoster, where I've been uploading maps, doesn't seem to be working at the moment for English version. I've no idea why. The German version does work, so I could just put it through the German version instead of the English version. Um, but the English version is completely locked. I haven't been able to access the English version for ages. There's something to do with the certificates. Um, and I'm not really sure why we've got this major certificate issue going on with it. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to go and put the uh, next save game. Um, I will, I'll have a look around and I will speak to a few people about where I can put it because we'll also in another couple months time have the uh, time lapse files to be saving as well. So there's people are going to be wanting to be able to access all of these so I will make sure I find somewhere suitable for it. Um, I was uploading back at the beginning of FS17, I was putting it on FSUK but I was having trouble getting the stuff uploaded on to FSUK. And I really like that website. It's it's very secure, and they do test everything and make sure that it's all clean. So you can be you can be assured of a, a, a neat, uh, you know, a clean, tidy download, and you don't have any issues with it. Uh, but I was having a load of trouble trying to get the stuff uploaded on there. So um, that's why I moved to using Mod Hoster. So I'm I'm going to keep my options open, and we will see. But that that doesn't really matter. What what we'll do is we will sell the land and you know sell the machinery and stuff right at the end we'll just do it very quickly i'll go into the shop we'll just very quickly return and sell everything that we can and um and we'll take a little look and see what we're left with how much money we get and whether or not we can do something like you know how much money we should take on to the next map so how much land we should buy when we move on to the next map should we be buying a massive quantity of land or should we be getting buying out a load of machinery um, and we're going to be focusing on cows like i said and possibly pigs as well but we're also going to want to be paying off the loan that's going to be the next big thing is we're going to want to clear all of the loan we've, we've got a massive great big loan at the moment and our loan as we speak right now is one million and ten thousand dollars that is quite a loan that, that 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 is a lot of money so we're going to need to be able to pay off this loan that's this one thing that we're going to want to do we're going to want to pay off this loan and we're going to want to be able to um work it uh, well pay off the loan and and then do some more stuff with it you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to fill this one up, like that. We will just get the last of it in there, like that. And then I want to just have a look at this, because I haven't actually done this yet. We've got the Stevie mod. We're racing up across the field, and I haven't actually done this. So I, I want to make sure that I've got a screenshot for, for, for use with, with our, our new forager that we're racing up across the field with. I, love the, I do love the colours on this. I think the colours do look really cool on it. Right, I've done that. Done the posing. Oop, that's the one that I want. We'll ignore the plow and, and all the rest of it. So we've got... I suspect we've got one more load. So we're going to have just over a million litres of chaff. Now, if we say one million litres of chaff, and we sell it for $600 per thousand litres, that makes sixty. That makes $6,000 for 10,000 litres. That makes six, 60,000 for 100,000 
and 600,000 for a million. Have I got that right? Let's just go back through. Um, six, 600 for a thousand, so that would be 60, uh, 6,000 for 10,000. Then 60,000 for 100,000, 600,000, yeah, 600,000 for a million. So we should, if we've got 1 million litres of chaff in here, we should get $600,000 for it. $600,000 is not enough to be able to buy all of the land that we want, but it's pretty close. You know, I think we would struggle to get much closer than that. I'll bring you in over this way. Now, the chaff is saying that it's completely like already squashed down uh but that really doesn't look squashed down does it i didn't want to do that i want to do that i want to leave the the hitch behind like that right i'm not going to be able to unload that back trailer because i'm not going to be able to get through with this one properly in fact i'm actually going to get stuck right here aren't i I am now stuck. It was said amongst those of you who've been watching that I was not going to be able to get through here without getting... Ooh. Oh, 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 no, I've done it. I've done it. I'm free. I am free. 99% compaction. Look, look at the compaction rate. It's 97% compacted. This is ridiculous. It shouldn't be compacting this much. I, I don't know if it's to do with the fact that we're using the Stevie mods or something, but uh, compaction seems to be too excessive. There's 900,000 litres of chaff in there already. So one more trailer load. I'm not going to be able to get that trailer in here just for a minute. So I'm going to go back over and I'm going to... So even though it does say that we're on 90% compaction, it's not. it doesn't seem like it's compacted properly. So I will go over here, and I'll get that one hooked on, like that, and select the back trailer right there, and then I will flick through to, not you, you, start you up, and we're going to back you up this way, and then we're going to use you on the clamp, and we're going to do a little bit of rolling, but... We really don't need to. There's absolutely no need for it. Look, it's 92% compacted. All we're doing is we're going to end up getting... The big bud is the one that's going to get stuck, isn't it? This is what's going to happen. Is this absolute beauty of a machine right here. This is the one that's going to end up getting properly stuck. Not anything else. 98%, 99 and literally what, what, once across the clamp and it's all squashed. But it doesn't... Work. It doesn't have to work like that. You can keep going with compaction, as far as I know, with silage. And it does actually keep compacting it. Even though it's saying 100%, I think it will still allow you to do more. And it will still squash it down more. So we've got these beautiful great big wheels here that are really working hard to squash everything out. And they do actually seem to be squashing everything out. It's moving it around on the surface a bit. It should be enough. It might be that for the last load with the lorry and the trailer there, the truck and the trailer, we're going to need to back it in the clamp. We're going to have to sort of just reverse in and back up as far as we can onto the clamp and then unload as we pull away. To make sure that we can get all of it in because we've we've gotten it quite high up at the back here there's a little bit where it dips down there the, at the far end but generally speaking it's quite high at that end of the clamp so if i can keep moving it like this and then i could just reverse through because i don't think i'm going to be able to drive up over that i think that's too high to be able to get out with the lorry i just don't think it's going to be able to get up over there be nice if it did but let's be realistic it's probably not going to do it is it so if i can keep moving this one i mean look at look at how well it's squashing it it, it is squashing it down still saying a hundred percent but it's it's it is now actually starting to flatten it out a bit 
and that's something that I think is very nice. Like, we, we still have movement of the surface of the silage, even though it is already told us that, yeah, it's flat. You don't need, you don't need to be doing this, bruh, but it's, it's still letting me do it. I think that's quite cool. Right, that's probably enough there. The big bud is working hard, and it's doing its thing, but... Let's leave that like that, and we'll come on round here. In we go. And we'll stop you there. We might very well use the Big Bud and some other much bigger tractors in the next series. If we're... Start engine. If we're going to go with a large-scale map and we want large-scale everything, I think that we shouldn't rule out having, you no know, like, nice, big, large-scale machinery all the way through. I think that would be quite a cool thing to have. So we'll bring this one in here and I'll start tipping there. And I'll let it, we'll slow right down here and we'll let it tip out as much as it can, really, up to this point. Um, I don't know how much. I would guess probably a 3 million litre capacity on this silage clamp. That's my guess. So you're looking at the amount that we've got in here at the moment with just, we're 15,000 short now of a million litres. So... My guess is for the entire clamp, we're looking at about 3 million litres. That's that's a fair old bit of silage. So, I mean, we'll, that's 1.8. If you sell that on the easy economy settings at the 600, 000, uh, 600 per 1,000 litres, you're looking at $1.8 million for the clamp. So if you've got two clamps and you've managed to fill them both up with 3 million litres of silage in a peak, there. Three million each. You've got six million litres of silage. I, you notice I checked it that time to make sure that we'd be able to get through. Um, six million litres of silage. That would net you a very comfortable $3.6 million. Which is not bad, actually. So one absolutely huge silage harvest. And you'd just about be able to buy... Well, I was going to say you'd be able to clean up. You'd be able to buy just about everything on the map. But I don't think you would, actually. You think about it. It's actually the, the, the sheer quantity of land that you've got around here. Um, I don't think you would. Right, what I'm going to do this time is rather than emptying this thing right out, we're going to try and take about twenty to 25,000 litres of silage off of it. Like this. And then I'm going to turn round... So it's going to, it's 10, 14, all right, start moving now. So I'll take 25, right, that's taken a good 30,000 litres of chaff off, that's, that's taken a bit more. It's going to fold up, but that should allow me time to turn round and then pull down alongside it and allow the spout to unfold again so that we can turn round and start collecting from it as it moves up across the field, like this. So we can get even more in, and we, we, we can make even better use. Time efficiency, that's what this is. It's all about time efficiency right here. So we'll let that come down to there. We will let... Oh, it's already emptied out. It's already done that bit. Now, we would really struggle, I think, in real life, to be, like, turning too sharp on that hill. Because it's actually quite steep. A little bit right there, you could very, very easily end up flopping over on your side. A bit like I did in the live stream uh, last week with the truck. Right at the very, very end of it, our truck would be um, lying on his side and having a nap. A bit like our truck did in the live stream. We don't really want our truck to go having a nap. Certainly not in this field. And you can see right there... The way the game works with um, hills, when it's working on the side of the hill, it does leave strips. It leaves bits behind. And I've noticed that before. And it's, it's kind of a strange thing. Because um, I always wondered how they did it with getting you, like, more land. If, if, if it's working on a slope, then, you know, you, you end up with more land than if you're working on something that's level. But... The way the game does it, if you're working on perfect level, it's got quite a bit of um, extra on the side of the header, doesn't it? But then if you're working over a hill, that extra is filled up. So it doesn't, you know, the, the, 
as you go further down a steep hill, you see there it's now going out right out towards the edge of the header. And then if it gets really steep, it leaves a strip altogether. And that's how the game does it. The game doesn't actually allow for any hills. So if you're working on a steep hill, it's it works its way out round. And that way, you don't get... Um, it, it's, the game doesn't allow for contours, basically. It keeps those dead straight lines with the hired help and stuff like that, which is probably the simplest way for it to do it. But obviously, if you've got steep hills you got more land, haven't you? Like, if, if we had dead flat land here going straight over to there, there would be X amount of land. But by putting a depression in it, you've actually increased the amount of land, marginally. There's, there's, there's more surface area to cover. And I didn't realise until just recently that the way that the game copes with that is that when your hired help is working on the dead flat, there's quite a bit of overlay. You'll have the headers and the, 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 whatever machines you're using they stick out quite a bit, but when you're on the side of a steep hill, they don't stick out. That's not sticking out at all. That's going all the way up to the very edge of the crop, and it's even leaving a little bit of crop behind. But then as it starts to level out, it starts to ignore that, and so your lines end up doing the same. And one thing that I haven't looked at, and I don't know if anybody has... And this is, this is kind of like a... I, I think this is one of those hard-hitting questions that people would want to answer. Right? These lines here. You know your cultivation lines that you get as you work up through? Do they spread apart? Do they get wider? If you have a steep depression in the field, do you get more of these lines appearing? Or do they spread out a bit? Do they get wider as you go down over a hill? There is an easy way to test that. Actually, we could do that. We could get the landscaping mod and we could go and have a look at it and we, we could actually there there is a way to test that if, if we were to use the landscaping mod and like a, a big way um i'm not going to though because you'd have to use the landscaping and you'd have to landscape quite steep ground then you'd have to go and um, plow and cultivate and seed and stuff and then you'd have to study the lines very carefully. So a little test challenge for you right there. If anybody wants to do some testing, some map testing, uh, take a look and see what happens on steep ground like this. But much, but steeper still. Steeper still. Put it, put it like a, a depression in the ground. Maybe a like a bowl depression in the ground, so it sort of comes down quite deep. And then take a close look at the lines from, uh, not cultivating from planting like this, and see if they're spread further apart. Are they are they moved? Have you got extra bits added in? How does it work? How does how does the game cope with sort of filling in those little bits? Um, it's something that I think is quite an amazing pro like uh, quite an amazing thing it's 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 the sort of thing you just don't consider you you don't even think about when you when you're normally playing the game but i do notice it when i'm working on the steep ground obviously you, you get these like little bits that are left behind and you sort of think oh hang on a minute you know that's that's the reason that they're leaving them behind is because of the side of the steep hill and the way that the hired help works and the way the game uh, sort of figures out the lines across the land, so it doesn't take into a... I don't think it takes into account the contours. Which is why when we've got steep bits like this, the hired help can sometimes leave strips. Like we have that problem down in our field down over there. Leave strips down there. So there's some testing. If somebody is bored and would like to do a bit of farming simulator testing, there is a bit of testing for you to do. I will ask about this probably on the Discord as well. Um, so you can either post results on Discord or you can post results uh, in a reply to the video down below. And we will see what we come up with next week when I'm uh, when I'm recording next week's uh, videos. If, as long as I remember, I will mention I will mention whoever does it and. And um, we, we'll talk about the results. Because I think this could be something that is quite fascinating to have a look at. You, you think about it. We do end up leaving quite a few bits here and there, don't we? Now, I'm going to bring that up there. So this is the very final load. 
We haven't actually got that much off a completely full load right there. All right, we got we got that bit there. I know some people said that they were talking about the old Stevie mods here. And was there a little bit that was left behind up there? Yeah, it was. Right. That one's done. So we, we well, we ought to at least fold it up and put it away, didn't we? So let's let's. Oops, no. Fold the spouts. We will fold that one away. We will fold that one away as well. So it's all being put away like that. Now jump out. And there we go. There is our beast. His job is done. Cost us $27,000. But I definitely think it was worth it. We'd have been here for a long time if we used the other one. So I definitely think that that was money well spent. Uh, let's go to our least items. So the crone, big X right there. I want to return you. Yes. Okay. And then I want to go down through and I'm going to go to that one. And I want to return you as well. Yes. Okay. Right. Job done. So then I want to come out and I want to go over to here. And let's just refresh how much money I need for this. Uh, I need 1.2 million for that field, 680, 424, So that one, uh, 684, 20. So we're looking at 900 for that, plus another 700 on there. That makes uh, 1.6 and 1.2. So we need 2.8 million. In order to get those four, we need $2.8 million. And we'll go... We're, we're going to start doing this a bit more frequently, I think. We'll go to here. And we will borrow more money. We will max out our loan at all times. So, at the moment, we're, we're going up to, like, 200000 We're going to keep pushing this. We're going to keep pushing our loan. And see how much we can get on that. We need two point... What did I say? $2.6 million. So, we need a lot of money. A shame you can't press and you can't press and hold the spacebar for this. It's a bit like the animals, right? The, the, we we made great progress forward with being able to buy animals with a scroll bar in the last version of the game, and then they got rid of that and they made us go back to multiple clicks to be able to buy animals in this game. Um, but here, the, the, the taking the loan out that they've removed the cap off the well, the loan is now related to. Uh, the value of your property. So that's our, that's our loan. At the moment, we've got a 2.17 million loan. We've got $1.2 million. Our loan repayment is now going to be going up quite considerably. We are definitely going to be having a more expensive loan repayment, but that's something that we can cope with. We don't mind that. That is something that we would consider to be perfectly acceptable. All things, you know, when you consider all of everything all rolled in together... So if we've got this, we've still got to get another $1.5 million. And there is a little bit of silage that we missed down there. Another $1.5 million to be able to buy the field. And we've still got to do all the planting and stuff. Um, when we come to do some more planting, I will... I'm thinking that we ought to go for full... No, we won't. I was thinking full Stevie mods, but we won't. We'll avoid Stevie mods for the most part on this series at the moment. We will go Stevie mods in our next series. We'll, we'll go a lot more with the Stevie mods. For this one, what we'll do is we'll just get a bigger seed drill. We've got this big bud right here. So we may as well make use of that and get a much bigger seed drill. I think a bigger seed drill would be absolutely perfect. It would fit really nicely. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring that one up to there. And I'm going to stop that one there like that. And then I'm going to switch over and I'm going to take that off. And instead of driving forwards through there, this time we're going to back in. We'll back in, we'll tip, and then we'll pull out. And then we get the next one and we'll push that one in as far as we can. And then we'll unload and then we'll pull out again. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.